weird thing where I feel like my hair needs to be braided or like in some sort of hairstyle or else I don't look good on camera so I haven't vlogged ever since I got back from um, Mexico because I feel like I like don't look good yeah so I made sure to get my hair done today and that's why I'm recording well yesterday we recorded a little unboxing video for some of the gifts that we got from the wedding registry so I'll insert that clip of Lucas and I doing the unboxing right now hello it's our third day living together as a married couple and we want to rip each other's heads off i'm just kidding we actually don't want to do that we're no. having so much fun we are and we love it i'm enjoying it a lot same right now we are going to be unboxing some pr packages sent from our families <laughs> just kidding just we have a bunch of gifts in this corner but this is just what we've accumulated in our little corner we're trying to like get rid of the boxes so we thought let's show you guys what we got let's do the obvious one okay. Save surprises for us okay we have this one did you take it from the box i did actually oh okay i was like why did you just come like this we have a kitchenaid stand not stand hand, hand mixer but hey hand mixers for sure get the job done like yes. unless you're a pro you don't really need that's true we have our two little our two setting thingies i'm not sure and it's blue yeah the aesthetic is awesome oh it's so cute it looks like a little retro oh i can just imagine making my chocolate big boogies Boclet. and oh i'm excited okay it's really nice Yay! This is from your mom. Thank you. Thank mom. you, mom. I think I might know what this is. If if I if I know what this is. What? Yeah. It's it's a whole nother set. Wow. This is from Crate and Barrel. It's a whole nother set of measuring cup thingies. We have this exact gift. I got this at my shower. But one of the ladies, I'm not sure who gifted this to us. Wendy. Not Wendy. Kay, Kay. I'm not sure, but one of Lix's mom's friends gifted me, and this was also on my registry, but it was um a little like ceramic ceramic measuring set. So we have all four of this, like a cup, half a cup, quarter cup, third of a cup, and then we have the spoon ones. But in transit the, the, big one, the right? cup broke yeah, yeah. so she messaged them and they just decided to send a whole set and not even just like the cup the one cup so we have another one of these but we only have one of the cup measuring we got items. infinite measuring items now oh we have a lot of measuring items big. third box is this box um how did you open this oh, oh. look his love joy and karen Sharp nails. Yay! This is um oh this is I'm like I'm be like oh my gosh I swear I didn't put all of these on there. No, but you don't know which one it's gonna be. That's true. Um this is dessert plates. We don't have like little plates for like fruits it's or nice. just like yeah. a piece of pie or something. We want something like small, some kimchi. True. So we have little plates. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Wow. They're even like unequal. It's so artsy. It's so cute. Yeah, I don't know if you dope. see how like it's not like a flat, flat plate. It's like has it's some very like, aesthetic. It's like my ring. It's like your room? Ring. Yeah, it is like your ring. What are you doing about your ring? We have to put it on, on the to-do list. Yeah, I gotta call him. And this, and as you can see, we like a lot of blue. Surprise. 
Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah. A whole new set of <laughs> forks and spoons. I'm not even... Salad forks, dinner forks, teaspoons, dinner spoons. This looks big for a teaspoon. We have so many forks and knives. And I think yeah. when I was just starting the registry, they like recommend like... These are the must-haves for your registry. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to check in with Lucas, like, oh, do we need, what, like, what do we actually need? So in my head, it was like I was starting a new apartment from scratch, but he's already been having this apartment, so he has a lot of forks and knives and spoons already. But I think this one and the plates were for your, from your grandma. Mm -hmm. That's right, they're very cute. Shout out, grandma. This is a 20-piece set. It's huge, guys. You can't see this box. Dang, hey, this is from mom and dad. How much stuff do they get? That's what I'm saying, like... I literally don't need a Christmas gift. Please. My mom and dad are very generous. Oh, it comes in a little bag. Wow. Whoa. You could fit a person in there. This thing is huge. Yeah. You could fit a person in there, but I'm keeping that in. And don't tell me, take it out. I couldn't hold it. This is a ninja air fryer. A ninja is a good boom, one. Boom, 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 boom. What? 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 Let's open this thing. You're excited for this one? Yeah, I am. If you're ever falling on hard times, just throw a wedding. You will get so much money and so many gifts. Guilt-free fried food. Mm, can't wait to not be guilty. Ninja. It includes a fry basket. Mm. Customizable cooking. Oh, this is the one that we had. Um, With Jessica. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is actually the one I had it. My roommate had this in my apartment in Ridgewood. Oh my gosh. It feels so nice to have an air fryer on my, of my own. You have no idea how many things I made with that air fryer. How many? A lot. Really? Yeah. Like what? I made some pork shoulder bites. I made salmon. I made chicken wings. Remember my mm -hmm. soy garlic chicken wings I tried to make? I made fries. I made a fried egg. Really? No, it I works? didn't. Uh. Oh, I'll show you the sheets that we have. <laughs> this orange duvet and duvet cover. Well, the duvet cover is orange. It's orange linen. And we so are the pillowcases. Don't mind our very very <laughs> frat fratish looking bed fratish yeah what does that mean like a frat boy our christmas tree we got a christmas tree this is our bed frame lucas might build that this evening will oh, you yeah yay so yeah everything is really coming together tomorrow the movers are moving my stuff from my storage into the apartment and then on sunday we have cleaners coming to deep clean everything and it'll be all brand new and we'll start from scratch not scratch but we'll start somewhere and we're just getting more pieces coming in pieces we're gonna get to make it all homey i'll give you guys some more home updates when i get the chance I just got my hair done. It was tumultuous as always. I'm just accepting my fate that I probably will have not very many positive hair braiding experiences, which is why I just think that I'm gonna get sister locks. Like, first of all, good evening. That's so rude of me to not even say hi. Good evening, my name is Karen Lovejoy. <laughs> My name is Karen Lovejoy. Welcome to my channel. Oh my gosh, how crazy is that? Okay, so I am in New York City at the moment. Lucas heard that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. 
Aww. How do you feel about that? Okay, he's watching a fight right now, so that's all his brain is. I love it. Okay. It fills my heart with joy. Mm, with love joy. Hey. Just got my hair done today. And I got there at, at my appointment was at 8.30. I got there like 8.45. And I'm not sure if it's because I got there at 8.45 or what. It, I didn't, it's not the kind of place that you need to make an appointment. So I wasn't really like in a rush. It was kind of like those like. Um, African braiding shops but the ones that actually know the style you're talking about but then they're doing there's a bunch of like African braiding stores in New York City that are doing this like $200 any style any length come on in come on in and then they get like one TikToker to post about it and everyone's like $200 any style any size any length alrighty and so my friend Cass saw one of those Cass was my old roommate in New York City she saw one of those I, first of all I'm getting ready for a birthday party I invited Cass to this birthday party she's like oh I'm getting my hair braided on Saturday actually not sure how long it'll take but I can probably make it I'm gonna go as early as possible and I was like you know what I actually want to get my hair braided too because I feel like because I don't have my hair braided I haven't been wanting to like get on camera which is really sad because I used to love my afro, but I feel like I got like one too many silk presses and now the afro isn't like afroing anymore, you know? Every time I get my hair braided, they blow it out. I got the tape and extensions. I got two silk presses and I get braids regularly. So there's people just stretching out my hair every month. And like at that point, what's even the point of being natural if they're going to straighten your hair before they braid it? So yeah i think i have kind of ruined my curl pattern a little bit like not too much but just a little bit to where i feel like it's not like bouncy curly as it used to be and it really hurts me but yeah so i don't want to get on camera because of that i'm ranting sorry and so i want to get i want to get my hair done so i was like oh actually can i come with you because i've been wanting to get my hair braided we got back to new york city tuesday today's saturday so i've been in the apartment all week so we booked the appointment for 8 30 but book but well, really it's just like they just it's just everybody comes in it's like <laughs> one girl walked in today she's like oh it's like a slave ship in here <laughs> why would you say that but it was really packed with like and there was two floors i was in the basement and there was like 15 people getting their hair braided and like imagine two hair braiders on each it was like 30 people in there and so they're like 180 any style any length i'm like i got knotless boho last time everyone was getting boho because hair is included and stuff but i was like let me just get like regular knotless it's been a while since i just got regular classic knotless braids and granted they look good right but i had the worst experience where i essentially just like i started crying in front of everyone and it was really embarrassing but i hate it when like hair braiders who are black like west african these people were senegalese west african just like me just like me and you just kidding you might not be west african but you know what i mean west african just like me i hate when they act like it's their first time seeing an afro because i guess everyone who goes in either has their hair permed or they have a looser curl pattern a lot of them are black americans so they don't have like the thick 4c hair spoiler alert i was there for 12 hours these braids took 12 hours does it maybe i'm tripping but i was expecting like at, at most eight hours i got there at 8 45 they started actually braiding my hair at 10. I thought for sure by 6 I'll be out of there. Nope, got that, got out of there 10. So actually I was there 13, almost 14 hours. For regular, small, like, not even that small though, like, medium. Regular, medium. <laughs> not less braids. Took 13 hours. Everyone there that I saw in the little section I was in, their hair was either relaxed or very loose curl pattern 
or they had stretched it out to the point where it was basically like straight i went in with my afro first mistake but every time i go in with an afro to a hair salon i did not i don't get the reaction that i got like they these people acted like it was like such a burden you know first of all they could have completely braided my hair the way that it was but the lady that they assigned me to started off she already looked pissed and I, in my heart i was like should i ask for somebody else because she looks mad and i don't like when someone is doing my hair and they look mad and they haven't even started so i was thinking should i ask for somebody else but they don't speak english <laughs> one person there spoke english and was very limited they do not speak english and like i don't say that to exaggerate the only phrase the lady who was braiding my hair knew was excuse me that was the only thing she said during the 13 hours i was with her whenever she hurt me she would say excuse me when she wanted me to stand up excuse me wanted me to sit excuse me wanted me to do anything was excuse me and i had to figure out like what did she want which is not a problem the problem was that i couldn't communicate if i wanted somebody else or why i wanted somebody else because they wouldn't really get it so i was like okay I should just probably stick with her. She's probably having a bad morning. She took it out on my hair. She took out her bad morning on my hair and everybody could tell. Everybody could tell. Like, I think as soon as they assigned me to her, she got upset because I was the person in the room with like the thickest hair, I guess. And she took it out. She started yanking, yanking. She took a blow dryer, started blow drying it dry, just yanking. I lost so much hair. It was so painful. My friend that I was with, Cass, she texted me, she's like, are you okay? I was like, this is like horrible. And I couldn't, I didn't say anything in that moment. I was like, it's fine. She has to do what she has to do. Maybe she can't braid my hair the way that it is. So she has to straighten it. Sure. But she was just, someone had to tell her to use water. Like, use water. I, I forgive that. I don't say anything. She blow dries my hair. I sit down for her to start. She realizes it's not straight enough so then she takes me back to the blow drying section blow dries it again and it still looks the same like the only thing that's happening is that it's getting bigger and she's getting more frustrated because she doesn't know how to make it straight and it's like that's not how you make it straight you take a blow dryer and then you do this if you want it to be like straight but she didn't understand that she was just blow drying and combing it out and it was just making it bigger and bigger and i think she was getting more and more frustrated and so she gave up put me back in the seat and then just started parting like with no regard for me as a person my scalp my head like just no care about me and my hair and it wasn't even the physical pain that made me start crying it was the fact that she truly I could tell did not care about my hair and I, I started to cry because <laughs> it was really sad to me because I really love my hair and like yes it was painful but that wasn't why i started crying i started crying because i was like yo this lady does not care i'm like a head in a room for like of 30 other heads you know what i mean like she truly doesn't care and i was thinking like at what cost like yeah it's 180 dollars for every size every length it's a good deal but like at what cost because they really don't care about you and so i understand why all these girlies Anytime I hear someone is paying 400 or 300, not even 300, 300 is like the average. If I hear someone paying like $500 for like an amazing, amazing service, I'm not going to be upset because sometimes you pay for comfort and you pay to know that you're in good hands you know what i mean and like when i'm booking an appointment online i'm vetting the hairstylist i know the work i know the clients that she does i know her vibe from her social media and like yeah maybe we can like be annoyed by their like a hundred million policies on their website but at least like you know the person you know what i mean when you go to these like basically free for all like you don't know who you get assigned to but it's hella cheap you don't know who you get assigned to and you don't know their vibe you don't even know what kind of work they do they did an amazing job but still like you just don't know you don't know how they're gonna care for your hair you don't even know if they've ever even 
cared for your hair type before and so you're just like jeopardizing yourself and i really in that moment was like wow like at what cost you know what i mean like is this really worth it because i'm in so much pain and i feel so discarded and like disrespected in a way and so i um sorry i'm trying to find my blush i start crying and one of the ladies noticed that i'm crying i was also crying because there wasn't a way that i could communicate like that like yo treat my hair with some like delicacy and so i start crying one of the lady realizes realizes i'm crying and she's like allez pleu, allez pleu, like in french and they spoke french they also spoke like an african dialect that i didn't understand but they did sometimes speak french and so i did like think like should i speak some french but the, what i wanted to say like i didn't know how to say in french my french is limited to where is the bathroom and where is the food and how are you so i was like how do i say please treat my hair with respect and so one of the ladies yeah notices i'm crying she's like oh she's crying she's crying and then that's when the lady like snaps out of it and it's like oh shoot like yeah i'm actually hurting her so then she becomes super delicate but in her being delicate oh also they had to teach her how to do knotless <laughs> that was the thing they had to teach her how to do knotless i'm like there's no way you give the thickest and like biggest hair in the room to someone who doesn't even know how to do knotless but it's like if this is her first week like why would you give me her you know what i mean of course she's upset <laughs> so um she started braiding they were like no no don't do that but yeah after that after i started crying she became like way nicer to me obviously but then she was so slow so basically i left at 10 p.m i got there at 8 45 and with each passing hour i i started to feel more and more on fire like i would actually like explode i was so upset with how long it was taking like one of the ladies would do like two girls and she still wasn't done with me and so at one point they like told her to leave and like switch her in for another braider what time is it 11 11 okay we gotta go now seriously yeah they switched her right, for another <laughs> they switched her for another braider and like the braider actually like did it fast and i don't know all i'm gonna say is i'm just i just think that's like my last straw i don't know how many like saturdays i can sacrifice to braids you know what i mean like hey, but it came out amazing it did come out amazing that's like you only live once, you know what I mean? Life is so short and I'm gonna spend so many Saturdays sitting in the basement of some like crowded braiding salon getting my hair braided. Like why would I do that? That's why I'm getting micro locks. <laughs> Long story short. What shoes should I wear? Hmm. I have those ones. Jordans. <laughs> I have those ones. Which ones? the cream like platform here gosh why are your feet gonna be freezing babe? i mean we're gonna be in an uber okay i'm sure you guys are sick of me ranting there was another vlog where i was ranting but then i fast forwarded it because i thought that nobody cared and somebody commented and was like we care about your ranting so yeah i i promise i don't want i don't want these rants as much as you don't you want them you know what i mean but it's like I'm also realizing like no one is gonna truly care for my hair the way that I care for my hair so I haven't done the best job at like really learning to care for it I will take accountability in that that I've just been like whatever whatever about it because going natural was so easy for me because my hair looked so good <laughs> natural I was not expecting it I thought it would take way more work to make it look good but it just looks so good naturally that i was like oh i don't have to do much to it but you kind of do have to do some stuff to it so i don't think i really gave it the proper care that it deserved and i am reaping the consequences for it am i though i don't know maybe i'm being too harsh on myself but all right 
I am going to, I think I already mentioned, but I'm going to my friend Dawn's birthday party. It's so late. Luke and I don't go out this late. We don't even go out ever. But we love Dawn. And it's a like silver themed party. We don't have anything silver. So just throw on this white, white dress. And this is the dress I actually wore the Sunday after the... Um, smaller wedding with the little flower in here on here my silver hey. silver yeah should i wear white pants no okay, do you want to wear white no right, cool. i think you're fine cool. do you want to wear white pants no. <laughs> okay i think i look so good makeup came out good i think i do my makeup best when i'm talking to y'all i feel the spirit all right Okay, I think we got our dining table. Not I think, we got our dining table. Okay, it's not that big. No, that's good. Yeah, it's pretty small. Why did it look so big? I don't know, but that makes me glad. It's really? like enough to eat on. But we probably can't have four people, I don't know. No. Wait, that kind of bums me out. Oh, really? Well, I mean, no. Lucas is going to build this table. Hopefully, he's done by the time the deep cleaners get here. We have 20 minutes. I will be. I will be. We have my dresser in here. Some more little stuff that you guys have seen from my videos. And I'm happy because it's like a lot of my stuff is here now. Someone had asked me where the throne was the other day. It was in storage. And now it's outside of our apartment because it doesn't fit in the door. So we have to take the hinges off and bring it in. And then probably take the hinges of this door and bring it inside because I want it to be in here um but yeah that's the chronicles of this throne it doesn't fit anything i don't know why i didn't measure or even think to measure things when we impulsively bought it but the apartment is looking nice now i'll show you guys after um it gets cleaned but the dining table is now built we have a christmas tree and my christmas present underneath it the dining table is here we don't have the chairs in here yet and my rug if you guys remember my rug from my apartment it's here some more things from my apartment is here and the room isn't looking too bad either it's all coming together this is um the studio voila the apartment looks so, so uh, spanking new. It looks so new and just so clean and fresh. If you guys are in New York City, hit up Raina. Raina's Cleaning Ooh. Services. Seriously, she was so kind, so generous. Generous. She was really kind though. She was really kind and sweet hey, and very deli like deliberate, meticulous, detailed. George, Everything the looks old church. gorgeous. We just had our apartment deep cleaned. I'm the dust on the moon, I'm the trash in the sewer. <laughs> this is hip hop, we gon' last forever. Oh yeah, you should see my armpits, the back of my ears, my ear holes, everything. Who? Whoa! No, 
make I'm sure happy with how it, every year I try to do something new with the mantle. So it's very simple this year. That's wow. nice. You went for the elegant aesthetic. Yeah, simple and elegant. We, yeah. Yeah, another one, we'll go to South Carolina. Final meal is some garlic chicken that I definitely overcooked. <laughs> potatoes, crispy potatoes, and a spinach salad with some lemonade. Spinach salad. <laughs> the only thing in the salad. <laughs> And a, and a side of and a side of spinach um and we're watching final table we like watching cooking shows together mm -hmm. it inspires us mm -hmm. and awakens the chef in us mm. i'll sit down here what an amazing woman everyone should be watching her all the time thanks because she is the best thanks you heard it here first. Probably not the first place you heard it. It's all in the gaze. It is. It really is. <laughs> you should turn this off. Good morning. Yeah, yeah, you can, I guess. Good morning. I love it when I have my hair done and my makeup done. I feel like I just transform into a woman that's unstoppable. I got a package from... Saison. It's been tumultuous with this package. I ordered it. FedEx delivered it or they said they couldn't deliver it. We were on our honeymoon. They took it back. Had to get the credit back. Ordered it again. So it's finally here and I am so excited. One thing that I wanted was sold out by the time that I got the credit back to order again. So sucks about that. But I wanted to, to show you guys. So I want to do a little unboxing and let's let's unbox the pieces and i'll i'll tell you guys everything that i got it was kind of a lot and i'm happy because i have been you know oh my gosh influencers say this all the time like wow i was needing these pieces but truly i thought it was god sent when my manager said that they reached out because i was just talking to my mom like my mom was giving me a whole marriage talk and she was like don't take any of your oh you cleaned the bowl with the mashed potatoes yeah thank you babe <laughs> she's like don't don't take any of your dingy clothes all those dingy clothes you've been wearing from the thrift stores and stuff don't take them into marriage like you need to get better clothes for, for your for your life as a wife i had that conversation with her like a day before and i was like what better way than to just get some high quality staples Ooh! also their box is so pretty the box is so pretty and i just opened it this way the packaging is gorgeous they are a french company first is this this sweater a nice knit oh it's heavy nice knit warm warm sweater just a long blue or navy-ish yeah it kind of looks black no it looks navy but something I can just wear with a bunch of different outfits and it wouldn't clash. I ordered the green one at first. It's like a bright green scarf. It was beautiful. Next time it comes back in stock, I'm getting it. We also have this shirt. Aww. They asked me what I wanted embroidered on the shirt. And I didn't know where they were going to place the embroidery. So I just did a heart, a blue heart. And it's right above the pocket. Okay, this, like imagine this with a long jean skirt and like burgundy knee high boots with like a square toe and a burgundy bag, like, or just dark red. 
gagging. Also, this is how I went into it. I was like, I go on my Pinterest board, all the stuff that I've pinned. And then when you shop, you know what to shop for because you know what pieces you don't have. Like sometimes when we're on Pinterest, we're like, oh, I would love to dress like this so we pin it. And then it's like, what's stopping you from looking like that? Oh, you don't have that piece. So whenever you have the opportunity to shop or get a couple of things, maybe treating yourself once in a while, I'm not condoning shopping a lot. Then you go on your Pinterest board and you look at it and you say, what am I missing? Like what's missing? What's stopping me from looking like this? And I'm like, oh yeah, I don't have boots like that. Or I don't have a shirt in this silhouette or something. Enough. One last piece. So that's four things. One last thing is this um, trench coat. I wanted a... Oh, it's nice and long. Just like a long trench coat. And, oh, they gave me a little pouch. That's cute. A little pouch. Thank you, Suzanne. I'm gonna put an outfit together with some of these things and I will see you. I'll show you what I end up wearing. Step two of making a marital home. Get some good wife pieces. Pieces that feel like you're stepping into womanhood. Am I selling it well? Oh! Ooh, warm, warm, warmth. This is my full, I have to go all the way back here. My full outfit, trench coat from Cezanne, Cezanne scarf and sweater. I feel like I don't need the trench because it might be a little bit warm outside, but... The superintendent just got here, actually. The superintendent of our building. To take off the hinges of the door so that our throne can fit inside. The hinge like snaps really hard. This one? Yeah, the hinge. Oh yeah, because the uh, you have to like kind of like. Uh, How do you open it so that you can sew it? There's a really there's a clip right there. <laughs> yeah, I think it will. Uh, I, I saw them. The, uh, what was the mission? The what? Careful with the with the fingers. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, they did it in the side. Thank you. Okay, chair is all in into our little studio. This is Lucas's work situation, working on paint cans. Um, and my makeup desk, and then my throne for podcast recording. Yo, I wish that oh, this was easier to move. Uh -huh. And for a show, I could put a ratio. Mm. That would be so hard. So, studio is all done. It's almost, well, it's 12.15. So, I am making us carbonara for lunch. And there's something about me making carbonara right now essentially for my husband and I in a full face of makeup that is making me feel like Nara Smith on TikTok. Is that F1? If you guys know her, I love her. They're bagging on her at the moment for some stupid reason. The internet is always like that. They love you, the one day they don't like you. So right now she's getting back home, but I love her. She just makes me feel so, I don't know. The fact that she's 22, has three kids, looks good all the time from when we can see. And just cooks with so much joy. It just makes me feel like, yeah, like 
I can. You know what I mean? She empowers me, you know? She empowers me to do things that I thought weren't all that, like, fun, like cooking. I love watching her recipes. And anyway, me looking like this, making up for Nara, I'm like, I'm basically Nara. Basically. I think I actually scrambled the eggs. Maybe it's the cheese. Either way, something in here looks curdled. Doesn't look good. That's, that that's cheese. Mm -hmm. But but try another one of the the ones that look scrambled. I think it's cheese. Oh, okay. No. Yeah. Mm. This is a devourable dish. You're such a liar. You don't agree? Wow, that lemonade is amazing. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm.